Now, you're leading a project on the theology of joy. Can you tell us a bit about that project? Well, theology of joy um, is, is, a, is a fun project to, joyful, I should say, project to, to do, partly because here's something that is so fundamental to certainly Judaism and Christianity and has been over millennia and has been studied actually very carefully. And so um, that's what, in a sense, got us into uh, this. In, in almost a joy, I've discovered joy as, uh, as almost the kind of Christian version and Jewish version of what a component of the good life that concerns our affective dimension of our lives. Uh, joy is, I would say, a kind of the summation of the affective dimension of the good, uh, good life. And that's in a sense how we are studying joy. Joy not as a self-standing emotion, but joy as part and parcel of the good life. And indeed, I call it, in a sense, a crown of good life. Crown in a sense uh, in which a king might or a queen might wear uh, a crown. Mm. Uh, it's not that the crown is the king, right? You've got to have a king. You've got to have the good life right there. But crown, in a sense, expresses this and manifests, in a sense, in a public, uh, public way, uh, what the kingship, in fact, uh, in fact is. And so, um, in that sense, it's an endeavor to kind of return theology a bit more back to studying and engagement with well-being, with human flourishing, with uh, the good life.